Hello and welcome back. Uh, you're watching Living Supernaturally, um, and it's uh, it's a joy and privilege to be doing this, even as we look into the Word of God, um, uh, as as uh, as we walk with the Lord, and as we as look into the Word of God. It's such an exciting life because He has called us to live a life that's supernatural. Uh, when we look into the Word of God, we see that God has called us to um, uh, share the gospel, to preach the gospel, and He's called us to do that with power and um, uh, power demonstrated in signs and wonders and miracles. And uh, it's, it's not our ability, but it's the work of the Holy Spirit. Um, we see that uh, one of the ways by which we can minister in healing is through the laying on of hands. We see several scriptures in the way the Lord Jesus ministered that he laid hands on the sick and they recovered. Let's look at a few uh, verses. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 3 says, Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy left him. Right? So a couple of things that we noticed here, that the fact is that he said, I am willing. Now here was a person with uh, leprosy and the Lord Jesus was willing to heal him. So it is God's will to heal uh, a sickness. And then we see that the Lord put out his hand, touched him and commanded, be cleansed and heal that person of leprosy. Right? We see many such instances. Another one is in Matthew chapter 8, verses 14 and 15. Now when Jesus had come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother lying sick with a fever. So he touched her hand and the fever left her and she arose and served them. Right? So again, the, the, the healing touch. Matthew chapter 9, verse 29 says, And he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. So here are here's this, um, here, here are these two men, and they could not see, they were blind, and um, but they came in faith, and he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be to you. Very importantly, most importantly, we see that in Mark chapter 16 and also in Matthew chapter 28, we see that um, the Lord Jesus, while commissioning his disciples, you and I are his disciples. Right? You and I are followers of the Lord Jesus if we have truly you know, believed in him and accepted him as Lord and Savior and are following him. And this is something that applies to us. Mark chapter 16 and verse, verses um, 17 and 18. And these signs shall follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons they will speak with new tongues and they will take up serpents. If they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. Uh, listen to this. They will lay hands on the sick and they will cover. So we see that the Lord ministered in these ways by laying hands on the sick um, and, uh, uh, and the symptoms left, the sickness left. Uh, but he also is saying that he's turning around to us and saying, this is what will happen uh, when those who believe in my name go out and do those same things that I did. Right? So uh, it can be this laying on of hands it can be done in a, in, a, in a number of ways. One is we can lay hands and pray the prayer of faith. We can lay hands and uh, give a word of command for that condition or uh, this, for the spirit uh, in, in that person, to, uh, for the evil spirit causing that condition to leave, you can lay hand of uh, lay hands and anoint the oil and pray as well. So, uh, all this is in scripture, and uh, these are instructions for us to apply. So let's do that. You know, today, uh, maybe in the office, maybe at school, or anywhere else. Um, you know, maybe in shopping, and uh, you see that. Okay, there is someone who requires or needs prayer and we can ask their permission and pray and we can lay hands and believe that the Lord will touch them. Amen. Uh, let's pray. Father, we thank you. Lord, I pray that you will divinely orchestrate, Lord, uh, these moments for us, God. And uh, yes, Lord, for your power, Lord, to be made manifest in the lives of people, Lord, breaking down the works of the enemy, breaking down the works of darkness. Lord, um, yes, Lord, you said this is for all those who believe. Lord, may it be so. May you release signs and wonders and miracles uh, in and through our lives, God. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.